Hello and welcome. I haven't gotten on this game in, oh my god, <laughs> like 30 years. But I realized yesterday that they have added a bunch of new stuff because I was at my friend's house and they were playing and they had like, girl, they had dolphins, okay? So I said, I need to check this out, hold up. First of all, they added, I, would, I don't have any mods. I got shaders, obviously, cause like, maybe I haven't played, but I'm not a loser. I'm not have shaders. But like, girl, they have pink trees in the game now? About time. Why was I eight downloading every mod in the world just to try and get pink trees and now they have it built in? I'm honestly so hyped that they uh, updated the game though because I know that they're like, oh, if you don't update it, it's better for creativity, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but girl, that shit was boring. I'm sorry, but if I've already seen everything, why would I get on the game? I'm done. We don't have that kind of attention span. So I'm just stoked that they finally started adding normal stuff in here. Huh? A goat? Oh. Well. It's definitely giving sheep, but I guess it's technically a goat. Uh. Ooh, a panda? Why is he ugly? How do you mess up a panda, bro? I feel like they were on a time crunch or something. Because it's just the polar bear. Retextured. Okay, pop off, I guess. Anyway. Uh, a camel? Oh, well, it is a camel. That's how I feel about a lot of things in this update. It's like, it's there, and it's definitely whatever you said it is. It's just not a good version. I feel like they're kind of giving it the EA special and just putting absolutely jackass zero effort into everything. But hey, it's an update. We can advertise it. And you know what? It got me back on that game. So at the end of the day... Oh my god, that's so cute. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I'm not that pressed. Well, I guess we'll build it right here. Because, yeah. So for one, I want like some sort of like arched window type sitch. But I don't even know how to make things look good in this game. Okay, lesson learned. Never get depressed and take breaks from video games. Because... Why is it so hard to get back into? Like, it's physically painful how bad I am at this. Despite the jazz music I am blasting in my ears, this is not peaceful. I feel like we're getting somewhere. I just wish that they would add world edit into the base game. Because, to be honest, if y'all are gonna add this much pink trees in Garbo, let's just cut to the chase. Let us build quickly. Oh my god. I do like where we're getting with this though, because that's kind of cute. Basically, what I'm thinking is I want to make like a pink area that's kind of coming out of the house. And then the back will be this like crimson purple stuff. Yeah, not that one. This one. They did this block so dirty. It looks so bad. It literally just looks like, um, it looks like this, like the red nether bricks. That's the same. I'm going to just start laying out the back area. Ooh, we should definitely add like a couple tiers. That would look so good. Right, right, okay. Hear me out, hear me out. We should do a bay window over here. Okay, so, um, now I have to remember how to build a bay window. I feel like do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. I'm so obsessed with these pink flowers because they're not all the same. They have the big ones, they have the little ones, they have the medium sized ones. They really said inclusivity, representation. Let's go. It's kind of giving sombrero, but I think if we build it up, it might work. I think that I wanna make the doorway right here. Um, I feel like it should kind of, you know the rich people houses where they have like almost like a tunnel type situation before their door. Anyway, I wanna do something like that. So it looks all grand and private and stuff. Nope, no, 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 oh God. Someone get this girl some stairs or a noose. It looks like someone got period blood on their pink linen pants. Like I honestly, I have such a good vision. I just don't know how to make it come to light. <laughs> 
perhaps it's the color scheme. I don't know if I need to make like this into some greenery water feature or what. But I'm trying this over again because it is making me angry. Okay, let's build something else right here so that we can kind of circle it off. I hope we don't have to destroy this tree. I might just like leave it in the house somehow. I'm also worried that this is going to be uncomfortably large. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make a massive build. Um, especially not for not having gotten on the game in so long, but sometimes you just gotta go where the tide takes you. Ah, hold up. They changed the inventory. They started putting gates and doors and stuff next to the wood types. Okay, I don't know who led the charge on that, but girly pup or boy pup, you deserve a raise. Cause that was such a good call. Oh my god, whoever designed the trapdoor system, however, I'm gonna I'm gonna report them for harassment. So I still wanna use this crimson and stuff in the middle somewhere. And somehow, cause I think it would make a good, like, uh, low light, not a highlight, but I don't know, contrast or whatever. But I don't know how to do it. So I threw, okay. I put a little window on top of this and then, oh shit. Okay, this looks kind of bad, but <laughs> these, ignore those. They're just placed there for like, trying to figure out what's going on, okay? I feel like this is looking all right. And then if I can just, hmm, if I can just figure out what I'm trying to do, <laughs> I think it'll look great. Okay, this is actually turning out so good. I don't know where I like magically got these skills from, but I feel like it's, it's kind of starting to eat, right? You see the vision? I woke up at six in the morning for a good damn reason. I don't know what we're gonna do with the inside, but I know it's gonna be fine. Cause look at this, tell me this is not absolutely eating okay i put a little balcony juliet balcony whatever it's called up there this is the entrance i'm loving this bay window it does still look a little bit like a sombrero but less okay and that's what counts and then this is kind of giving like castle and there's a little people with the ah it's eating okay i feel like it is slaying so hard i don't know what to do over here Maybe I'll put like a little turret or something. I don't really know, but I think it's gonna look cute. That being said, I'm taking a break cause my butt hurts. I think I wanna do like checkered floors or maybe cobblestone, I don't know. So this is not gonna stay pink, but I'm trying to like map out cause I feel like you can just lead it into here and then it can kind of be like a split level type situation. For the living room, I'm kind of loving the idea of dif doing different like flooring in each area depending on what the energy for the space is. So I do have a good half of mine to put like wool up in here. Cause wool is the closest thing to carpet. But with that being said, wool also looks like ASS. Like look at that pink. Why is it so exorbitantly bright? They oversaturated the ever living out of the pink and it absolutely ruins it and i'm so sad because i feel like they these pinks eat that pink eats the house down boots like the, that pink is so much better than those pinks and then they decided this this was the pink to go with they already redid all the textures why did no one take any like ounce of responsibility to fix the ugly pink it's fine it's fine there's bigger issues in life so people are starving so we're gonna just go ahead and work with this it looks like it's been pissed on by a cat but pop off i guess let's add a fence um uh, not a fence a sofa i know that doesn't look very cute but if we go like this and then hear me out hear me out, hear me out. it's gonna be like a tv console except it's gonna be all plants so i'm thinking we can do like roses and orchids i like the tulips Oh hell yeah, a lily of the valleys. Like that is actually so good. Definitely need to like decorate this up here. Number one, I do want to add a light fixture. Number two, I want to make it look like this is a ceiling and just not the exterior of the roof. Cause this area, well, it's definitely just the exterior of the roof. <laughs> 
Ooh, what if we hid some lighting up in here? <gasps> yeah. Maybe. No. I don't know. Hold up. So I kind of like what we have going on in the living room. I'm gonna... I'm gonna tweak it a little bit, okay? But, like, it's a decent start. And then the dining room kitchen, like, that's, again, that's the same thing. And it's all fine. But this is obviously not ideal to have a hole in the back of the house. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start making a staircase. Well, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm thinking I'm gonna fucking try. I wanna start making a staircase that kind of, like, wraps up around. I don't know exactly how this is gonna work. And I want it to have, like, a, a very grand kind of feel to it. So, yes, this might be the most boring idea ever. But, nonetheless, we're gonna do a back door, like a very grand back door right here that goes out to the garden. And right here, I wanna do kind of like book nook, office Harry Potter type situation under the stairs. I feel like there's a lot of things that we can put over here. Like we can put practical stuff like enchanting tables or we can put cute stuff like a little desk and lamp and candles and whatever. And I feel like it also, it gives a very living room vibe in the background. Like I feel like it makes sense and it's kind of healthy and cute and logical. And then also, I don't know, this might be too much but I do think it would be really fun to try and put a tiny little cobblestone fireplace back here. I do have to keep it far away enough from the wood and everything that it won't catch the whole house on fire because oh my god, the amount of times I've burned down in a world that I'm so proud of because I forgot to turn off fire spread hurts. It hurts a real amount, it hurts a genuine amount and also, F you Matthew and F you Max for burning down my birch world. Oh my god, you pieces of straight garbo. Um, if you're wondering, and that's my brother and his friend. Because when I was like seven, I had this world that I made in creative. And it was birch and it was a whole city. I had apartment buildings and everything. And I worked my little child heart out on that world. And they burned it to the ground. Because it was going to be funny for them. So typically I'd use nether rack or whatever, but these campfires, dude, they do like 10 times the job and they're way less of a fire hazard, which is great because if this house burns down before I'm finished filming this video, I may or may not have a mental breakdown. I wanna do a little patio. I feel like we can put a little eating area right here and oh, we can add like, make some like DIY string lights or something. Oh my god, okay, I'm so excited. I can already tell this is gonna be so cute. I also definitely want to cover all this back area with the tall flowers. Yeah, like these lilacs, rose bushes. I'll add some short ones in here so it doesn't look so staged and awkward and stuff. But I do think that this is gonna look pretty, kind of okay, kind of cute. Oh, hello, Mr. B. What you guys, oh my god, there's a beehive right there. That's okay. I think Minecraft bees are friendly as long as you don't attack them. Is the color scheme good? Maybe not, but is it cute? Absolutely. And I think at the end of the day, that's what matters. Also, okay, I wanna put this little smoker here with, oh my God, a campfire on top. And then, oh, wait, hold up. This does not look like a grill. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Cause it kind of looks like a campfire that way or like a barbecue or whatever the heck. Ooh, we should put a trap door on it. I feel like that would look even more barbecue. And if we get like a little lever, oh my gosh, it's almost like this girl knows how to play Minecraft. Look at that, tell me that doesn't look like a barbecue. The only other thing is we should probably add some like lanterns out there, right? All things considered, I'm a little bit obsessed with this back area. I kind of want to add a, like some hedges, maybe a little like veggie garden over there. Cause we're still gonna fill the lake in which I think will look cute from the front. They added foxes to Minecraft, so I kind of want to make like a little secret like room, like under, un, underground, underground for the fox, like a little burrow down there. Well, I feel like carpet doesn't seem like a great choice for any pet, especially a fox. I'm sure they might be house trainable. And I know that things don't like pee and poo in Minecraft, but nonetheless, I 
don't want to risk it. So we're going to just like make a nice floor down here. Okay, I love the chiseled stone bricks. I'm going to just, you know, foxes can be educated. We're going to just add these as the walls, basically. Oh, they added stone stairs. That is crazy. It's like I don't even recognize the game anymore. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know anything about taking care of foxes. But you know what? I've had pets and I have pets. And one thing I know about them is they like little cozy crawl spaces to curl up and sleep in. Cause I don't know, it makes them feel safe. It would make me probably feel claustrophobic, but whatever suits their boat. So we're gonna make this into a really, really little <laughs> cozy bed situation. Ugh, this is reminding me of Mason Migration, and it's kind of hurting. Oh my god, I didn't have smooth lighting turned on this whole time. I was trying to figure out why it looks like someone pooped onto my screen. I'm... Anyway, okay, someone take away my Minecraft account. Also, I think I accidentally made a second Minecraft account trying to log into this first one. Because it prompted me to sign up with a username. Anyway, let me see. Okay. Oh, yay, okay. Because honestly, I thought I lost Rocket Stripes and I my new username was Rocket Stripes because it said Rocket Stripes was taken and I had to pick a new one and I said, oh no, somebody stole it. And then I said, girl, don't be so delusional. No one even knows who you are. No one stole your username. Um, but I really was worried that they did, but I guess they didn't. And I guess Minecraft gave me a second account? I don't know. But I want to make a little like kitchen area. I feel like if I put a fire right there and a cauldron on top, that totally works. Okay, that area obviously still needs to be finished, but I carved out like this little space. I know it seems a bit cramped, but if you're a fox, it's probably about the right size. If I was a fox, I'm just saying, me personally, I'd be eating this up. I'd be like, wow, what a good fox to take her care of. I got a bathroom, I got a making area, I got a sleeping area, although we gotta add something in here because it's looking way too like neat and tidy. It kind of looks like a modern day play place. So that's not really the vibe I was going for, but okay, there we go. I feel like this helps tone it down a little bit. I don't know if the lantern needs to go, maybe it just needs to be relocated or something. I'm really kind of struggling, but that's that's gonna be it for now. I feel like for a fox, he can't really complain. That being said, we should probably actually add a fox. I put a trap door, so hopefully the fox won't escape if I put him down here. I think we should probably spawn him in this area. Or her? It's pretty cute. How you doing? Is it alive? Oh yeah, it's chilling, it's chilling. Oh my god, he's so hyped. Look. Oh, he's hungry. Okay. Um, let's name him. I think we should name him Hippo. As in hungry, hungry hippo. Mr. Hippo. Oh, look at the little hippo. Anyway. Um, let's get out of here. Also, it is possible to get through here. It just takes a lot of very precise timing of jumping and squatting and glitching into whoa, whoa i can lay down i thought i was glitching what the fuck is that okay i wanted to add a little light out here because it like makes it cute and welcoming i also want to add like a lit path and stuff so okay what really bothers me is when we come in there's just like nothing to draw your eye to nothing cute like there's a staircase and stuff but this corner is looking sad so i feel like okay i found this thing it's called lightning rod i don't know what these are but you know what they make really good tree branches we definitely have like some space to put a bedroom up here so what my main concern is is figuring out where to fit a spiral staircase because i still want to do like a little turret rapunzel tower type situation like not with like the locking and abusing your children just the like I like the look of having a little bit of a tower. It's kind of chic. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out like where to set it and like the shape and stuff. And then we can just throw stairs around that to be honest. The more I look at the hot pink next to those windows up there, especially from far away, it looks so like out of place. I'm trying to see if we can get away with doing that one or if it looks too much like nether brick. 
Because doesn't that look so awkward over there? Like, it's not cute. It's not. Slay, mamacita. But I really want to start on the Pixies room up here because I'm just so freaking hyped for it. So, okay, let's go ahead and spawn our ally. Um, I hope it won't fly out. I don't know. Oh my god, he's so fucking cute. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, and he immediately went downstairs. Um, sir? Damn, he's like a hamster. Well, we might have to get a new one later. I don't know. I'll find him if I can. I'll try. <laughs> but he just straight up left. He said, this is not up to standard. I guess we should have made the bedroom first. Oh, well. I am so invested. I need this to be perfect. <laughs> I hate when my perfectionism comes out, but I just put so much pressure on myself to make this a cute build because I liked how the roof was. I mean, yeah, it works. Okay, I want to put like a pot with like mushrooms around, but I also wanted to get one of those, these ones. Okay, so my idea is that, I don't know, probably not right there. Maybe like, maybe in the sh corner actually we can move the shulker box it doesn't really matter where he is i want to put a little like flowering tree and then we can have okay here we are, here we are. this is just like a rough draft and then so we have like the vines coming down off some of it and uh it'll look all like jungly and that way they can use actually i don't know why we need a ladder because the pixie can fly i was gonna say that way they can pop up here somehow and get into this back area and we can make use of that. This bed is looking so sad, like depressingly sad. I wish that we could put multiple different color candles on the same thing, but as far as I can tell, you cannot. It said segregation. Okay, I think that we're gonna add like this border. Ooh, oh my God, shut the front door. That's so cute, bro. And it has, weird particles to yeah okay absolute slay i know it looks like a little bit out of place and the idea of stuff dripping on your head might not be ideal for some but i still am eating it up i don't even know what i'm doing in this room anymore i'm just like hanging out pretending like i'm doing anything productive let's just put some more candles up there yeah girl i don't know this is looking a little culty right now i'm not sure how i feel about it I do like this plant. It might be taking over the room a little bit, but it's really cute. So, I don't know, can't really complain. I mean, there's definitely room for improvement, but I'm just gonna leave this as is for the time being. And then up here, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share. So we have some extra space here. I think there's two things that we should fill it with. First one being moss blocks, because that way we can put plants here. And then the other one is bookshelves because it's only gonna show like the top half of it. And I think that would actually look so cute. Like, look at that. It's just like a little mini one. Ah, I love it. I love that so much. Maybe we should put like a second little bed up here. Cause you know, sometimes you wanna chill and you don't want a sleeping bed. You just want your chilling bed. Ooh, what if we did this? Okay, hear me out. And we put like some little carpets up here on here. So it's like a little hanging out booth nook thing. <gasps> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm actually kind of obsessed with this. Okay, I know exactly what we're doing. Number one, boom, put a little jukebox down. And then we gotta like make our little record display. I've never seen this blue one before. This is the bedroom I was envisioning making and then I made the tower just like way too big. So I don't know if it's just like a show bedroom. Maybe I should make this into like a little apartment instead of having the bed here. I don't know, but let's work on this space. I really would like to make this into like a big like bed pool. <laughs> uh, I feel like it wouldn't be that easy, but maybe we could do it. But yeah, we really can't mess with the ceiling at all down here. So it has to stay like this height, which means we'd probably have to build it up so that we could put like carpets on or something. I don't know. You know what? This is what you get. You make the outside of a build cute, 
And boom, you've just sold yourself out and you cannot do anything with the interior. So, yeah, now you know. I cannot feel the life of me figure out how it's so dark up here, even though there's so much light coming in. God, I'm so focused for no reason. It's literally Minecraft and I'm never gonna get on this world after I build it. But nonetheless, I, I need it to be, I need it to be right, okay? Okay, so we have like this space that we could do anything with. We could put a bookshelf there, although I feel like perhaps this house already has a few bookshelves. <laughs> but still, I wanna make the bed right here, but I just think it would make a much cuter little office nook. The shape over here just doesn't work. It doesn't make sense as a bed. But like, that's kind of cute, right? Can we, ooh, we can put item frames down now. Okay, perfect. So let's just put down like, let's put down a book and quill. Cause that at least kind of makes sense, you know? Yeah, it looks like it's on a plate, but you know, it's neither here nor there. <gasps> Wait, can we make a little cubby right here? Look at that, like that's pretty cute. You know, just a little nook. Wait, what? You can choose where to play. Bro, shut up. Okay, that's actually so cool. I cannot believe that's a thing. Well, okay, that's absolutely staying up there. Cause you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just put this lantern in the window right here for the time being. Oh, I'm so obsessed with that view. I almost wanna put a bench here, but I know that there's so many benches. You know what? The smart way to go about decorating difficult spaces is to just start with the easy stuff because then you'll just have filled it up and you don't even have anywhere that you gotta put the bad stuff you know it's just kind of like it does it the decorating for you you know Ooh, that's kind of cute okay I, I like that i don't even mean to place it that way but i'm i'm here for it i'm here for it i mean it's not ideal because it is like very short but maybe it's just kind of giving like canopy room vibes maybe I mean, I kind of like this. I feel like it definitely makes it cozy, which is what I was going for. I just really didn't think this would be the way that I got to it. I like the view from here. It's just always so good. No house is complete without a chest. So I think that's exactly what we're gonna do in front of this window. Beautiful view to get your things and have covered up by a big old window screen. No, but i think i think it's pretty good for being my first build in like three or four years and being all in vanilla i'm impressed i know it like seems a little bit odd but it's like a fairy cottage the uh, mansion i don't know i finally finished off this like garden pond i added a little bridge so that if you eat dinner you can walk across it and see the view it's nothing special, but it's cute. So this is probably where I'm gonna end the build. I'll give y'all a little tour, but you've seen most of it. <laughs> we have the little lake and it leads up to our house. It's very pink. I think it's got some personality. I like the color scheme on it. I think that we did a good job furnishing it. Oh, I did forget to make a proper front path. <laughs> womp, 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 womp. Once you come in the doors, you have this gorgeous living room area with a little library behind it. We have these large glass doors that go out to the ED. A fancy little patio area. It's got a covered little roof. It's got a smoker going. We've got our little bridge going across the little river. It's all pretty good vibes. And down here we have the little home we made for Mr. Foxy. He's got his bath, he's got his bed, he's got his little working quarters. He's free upstairs, but I like that it's a little bit like secluded, you know? Of course, we have a little kitchen dining room space, as one must. Upstairs, we have our bar area. I am so obsessed with how this area turned out. I think it looks so cute from the outside. It looks so cute from the inside. I actually can't get over the view. And then we have our little living, like a bedroom nook. We got a couple balconies here. They got some pretty gorgeous views, if you will. Um, and a storage area, a little riding nook, all that jazz. I love this little space that we have upstairs. I love the bed, I love the sitting areas, I love the plants and vibes, it's just so good. Um, also the views are just like next level. 
maybe I just like pink, but I'm obsessed with the views. And then if you pop upstairs, we got our little cake, which we can eat too. And the views, we got our jukebox station, we got a little bed up here, we got some flower gardens up here. I feel like the vibes up in this little top cubby are probably the best out of anywhere in the house. It's really given Tinkerbell in this house. I'm so obsessed with it. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you. Have a good one.